Hey everybody, it's Turbo David, the GoXLR guru. So today I'm going to go over with you and show you how to set up your absolute volume with the GoXLR. So what this is going to do is going to make sure that your mic and your voice volume is set properly. Uh, this will make sure that you're not too loud or too soft in Discord and on stream compared to all your other audio, like your music, your game audio, etc. So I'm going to go over and show you how to set this up properly, as well as setting up your headphone volume and your mic monitor volume and show you what those options do within the GoXLR software. So let's get right to it. So a few things we're going to go through here, and I'm just going to go through the setup with you, show you how to set this up within OBS as well as in Audacity, just to get your levels correct and kind of explain why we go through this process. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to your mixer tab and you're going to make sure that your microphone is at 100%. If you notice, I'm running the newer version of the software. I don't have microphone on a fader because you really don't need it anymore with the cough option. So my mic is running at 100% in the application. It should always be at 100%. It should never be anything less than 100%. That's how the GoXLR works. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the mic tab and we're going to go into mic setup. Now there is this nice meter. I say nice, but it's not very accurate. So we always tell folks don't go by the meter because it's not a good indication of what you should be doing. I'm going to give you this general guide. If you have a dynamic microphone, start at 50 dB of gain. That's going to be an SM7B. That's going to be an RE20. That's going to be a Procaster. Any of the dynamic microphone, microphones start at 50 dB. I'm running an RE20, which has a little lower noise floor and doesn't require as much gain as those SM7B. So I run mine at 45 dB. We'll get into it in a few minutes on what that really means and how to set this properly. If you're running a condenser mic, you should start at 30 dB of gain and make sure you're selecting the condenser option. If you're using a 3.5 millimeter mic, like a Yeti or some other microphone like that, um, watch the Yeti setup video because it's a little different in that case. You actually want to set it on the Yeti first and then adjust it on the GoXLR app, which you're probably going to be running anywhere from like 10 to 15 dB in most cases. So again, dynamic microphone, start at 50 dB. Condenser microphone, start at 30 dB. Also, when you are testing this, if you're in the mic setup screen, it will duck your mic so you don't clip. It puts the mic down to about 80%. So in this case, when you're setting up, setting up your microphone, I normally set my gain, I okay out of it, and then I'll test my levels. Hopefully you've already gone through and set up your gate in your compressor. Uh, pro tip, this gate and compressor is pretty run-of-the-mill standard settings. Uh, it's my final settings that I use, but if you start with these settings, this should give you a pretty good base setting for everything. So the two things in this video we're going to be adjusting is the main gain in mic setup and the makeup gain in the compressor settings. Those are the two places we're going to be adjusting audio. Also, one thing to note, when you're using a dynamic microphone, the microphone should be about one inch or less from your mouth. A lot of people say, why does it have to be that close? Well, that's how dynamic mics work. The closer you are to them, the better you have uh, an option of noise re reduction and background noise rejection. You can also lower the gain if you move it from your closer to your mouth. So like right now, I'm speaking about one inch from the mic. If I move back about six inches, that's the difference in audio you're going to get by just moving it that far back on a dynamic drive microphone. So you should really be really up and close. Uh, we say if you can lick the mic, you're close enough. That's a general rule. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our gain values uh, to where we need to be. So I'm going to open up an application called Audacity. You can do this with OBS. I'll show you with OBS in just a minute. But in Audacity, if you notice I'm talking, I'm peaking somewhere between minus 12 and minus 6. That's exactly where you should be when you're talking. 
people may say, well, I'm only peeking in the, the yellow or the, the top of green in OBS, which I'm going to bring up in just a second here and show you. Uh, it's going to be very similar to what you're going to see here. So if you can see here in OBS, you've got the green, you've got the yellow and the red. OBS usually tells you that you should be in the yellow and nothing should be in the red. This is actually not fully correct. You really should be, your voice should be up into that red, peaking into the red, somewhere between about minus 10 and minus 5 dB. All of your other audio should be in the green. That would be your music, your game audio, your chat. So as a general rule, when you're setting up your absolute volume, you should be peaking exactly where I am. So if you're not peaking where you should be, you should adjust two things. Depending on where you are on the meter, you should start with a makeup gain of zero just to start, just to see where you end up. So if I'm on my mic setup screen, I'm at 45 dB. Again, you don't want to use this, this window because it does duck your audio. So once I've set it here, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm going to open up my OBS and Audacity. And notice now, without any makeup gain and 45 dB of gain, I'm somewhere around minus 18 uh, to minus 12. So I'm about 5 dB short of where I should be. So that's why I'm going to raise that makeup gain about 5 dB to get where I need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And if you notice now, now I'm up in that minus 10 to minus 5 range. I'm right in the, the beginning part of the red. That's exactly where you want to be. So now that you've set up your absolute volume, on your microphone, then you can adjust your other audio. Now you may say, well, that's really loud in my ears. How do I, how do I adjust that? Uh, well, that's easy. If you go to the mixer tab of the application and you scroll over here to the headphone level, you can actually adjust your mic monitoring volume via the mic monitoring tab or slider. This only adjusts the mic monitoring in your ears. Same with the headphone level. The headphone level only adjusts the volume in your ears. So no matter what you have your other audio settings at, this only affects you. This does not affect your stream. The only time that would affect your stream is if you actually adjust one of your faders like this. This will adjust it both in your ears and on stream. So this is how I normally have people set up their volume levels. So set your music to 100% and then adjust the headphone level to the loudest you would ever want to listen to music at a regular basis. That way you can always turn it down if you need to. If it's not loud enough, you can't turn it up at that point. So you always want to make sure that's the case. I run an external amplifier for my headphones. That's why I have mine on hundred percent. One thing to also note, some headphones are powered differently. Like the Barodynamics DT 990s, the 250 ohm ones, some users complain that that GoXLR does not power them enough. If you have all your freighters at 100% and your headphone volume 100%, it's not going to be a great stream. That means your all of your audio is going to be really, really loud on stream, but for you, it may not be loud enough. In those cases where you can't get the headphones loud enough to your liking, you would want to add an amplifier, a headphone amplifier to your setup. We would recommend any amplifier that has a line in like the shit. Magni or the JDS Adams or the Mayflower ODAC. There's a pretty simple setup. You go from the headphone jack of the GoXLR into the line of the amp, and then you plug your headphones into the amplifier. Okay, now I'm going to play some music and show you what the fader is going to look like and where you're going to peek in the application. So let me open up Mixer here so you can kind of see what my levels are at. And I'll have OBS open here as well. So let's test with music. So let me play a little bit, bit of music here. You notice no audio coming through. My music's at zero. As I raise the music level, show it on this side for you. You can see it's peaking in the green. If I bring that up to 100%, That's going to be really loud in your ears like it just was. 
So you can't run these at 100% at all times because it's just going to be way too loud for stream. Normally when I'm streaming, my music level is probably somewhere between 30 and 40%. My game level is probably around 40 to 50%. And my chat is maybe a little bit louder than that because I like to mine, run mine a little bit louder. So just to review how you set up your absolute volume, you're going to want to set up your microphone volume. Again, 50 dB to start for a dynamic microphone, 30 dB for a condenser mic. Once you set up your main mic volume, main mic gain, and your makeup gain, you're going to verify an OBS or Audacity to make sure that you're peaking in that minus 10 to minus 5 range. Once you do that, you're good. You don't have to touch your mic again. The next thing is going to be make sure your mic fader is at 100%. It should never leave that setting ever. There's no need for that. The last thing you want to check is your headphone level. Depending on how loud you want to hear yourself, adjust that mic monitor to however is comfortable for your ears. And then again, to set your headphone level, again, I suggest to, you know, play some music, set the music fader to 100%, and then adjust your headphone level to the loudest you'd ever want to listen it at. That way you can always turn it down from there. One other tip as well, if you don't want to hear your mic monitoring at all, which we do not suggest, you can always go into the routing table and turn off your mic monitoring here. I just turned off my other ones here so you wouldn't hear it through my headphones. But you would just uncheck this box where mic meets headphones. Well, I hope this video was helpful to be able to set up your absolute volume. It's very, very critical that you do this when you first get your GoXLR to make sure that your volumes are set properly with your mic. Again, if you have any questions about this or you want more information or more help with this, feel free to head on over to the TC Helicon Discord and just ask your questions there. I'm on there all the time. I'm an MVP there. Don't hesitate to ask. I'm going to leave a link to the Discord in the description below. I just want to say thank you again for watching. Please like subscribe and comment below. Thanks again for watching. This is Turbo David, the GoXLR Guru.